What were the defining moments for AI in 2025? What were the shifts that fundamentally changed how organizations approached AI? Ben Kuss, our CTO, and I started the Box AI Explainer series with a simple mission, helping organizations understand AI beyond the hype. Since then, over 2 million of you have tuned in, and we've covered everything from RAG to agentic security, from context engineering to MCP protocols. Here are the five shifts that are moving enterprise AI from experimentation to real-world deployment. Number one, prompt engineering evolved into something much more sophisticated, agent engineering. At the start of the year, there was a significant focus on crafting the perfect prompt. And they're still important, don't get me wrong. But as organizations began deploying AI at scale, they realized that building effective AI systems requires a fundamentally different approach. Agent engineering encompasses the entire architecture around AI, context engineering being a huge part of that. It's about designing what information your agent can access, what permissions it operates under, what tools it can use, and how it makes decisions and how it interacts with other systems. Context engineering specifically focuses on curating that information environment, not just what you ask AI, but what AI knows and can access before you even make a request. This shift matters because it's what separates experimental AI from production AI. Organizations running sophisticated agent deployments have invested deeply in agent engineering, thinking through architecture, not just prompting techniques. This was a fundamental shift in how we approach AI development. Number two, AI evolved from assistance to agents. Early in the year, most enterprise AI was assistive, helpful, but requiring constant human oversight. By mid-2025, we saw a significant shift towards agentic systems, AI that can tackle more complex tasks and even workflows, extract agents that process a 40-page contract, identify key terms, populate databases, flag potential issues without manual intervention at each step. It's not just about looking for files using keywords. Intent-driven search systems understand context about projects, people, and relationships. Organizations are increasingly asking not just how can AI help answer this question, but rather how can AI help humans do this task? And we're seeing this with client onboarding, document classification, compliance monitoring, and so much more. This shift from assistance to agents has been one of the most significant developments of the year. Number three, security became foundational, not just an afterthought. Imagine this. A financial services organization deploys an AI agent for customer service. Within days, they discover that someone had used a prompt injection technique to access information beyond what should have been available. 2025 was the year organizations realized that agentic AI requires a completely different security approach. Because agents have access to files, data, workflows, and systems. And if that access isn't properly governed, the risks can scale exponentially. Organizations that have successfully deployed AI at scale this year built security architecture from the ground up. Permissions-aware RAG systems, controlled execution environments, comprehensive audit trails. Meanwhile, organizations that try to layer AI on top of existing systems without rethinking security found themselves facing significant challenges. If there's one lesson from 2025 that carries into the next year, it's this. Security architecture must be designed alongside AI capabilities, not added afterwards. As we move towards more sophisticated agentic systems in 2026, the security imperative only becomes more important. Number four, model flexibility emerged as essential infrastructure. At the start of the year, there was a lot of discussion about which model would dominate enterprise AI. What actually happened was more nuanced. 2025 showed us that model flexibility isn't just a feature. It's fundamental to production AI systems. Different models have different strengths. Leading organizations this year built systems that route tasks to the optimal model for each specific need. For example, legal document analysis might go to a cloud model. 
large-scale content generation might go to a GBT model, and high-volume data extraction could go to a Gemini model. This represents mature AI architecture, leveraging strategic model orchestration based on task requirements. Organizations embracing this approach report better performance across diverse use cases and greater flexibility as new models emerge. This architectural pattern will likely become even more important as the model landscape continues to evolve. Number five, and this is perhaps the most important one, trust. In 2025, trust became the critical factor in enterprise AI adoption. Let me explain what I mean. Every organization I've spoken with this year across finance, healthcare, legal, manufacturing, has asked essentially the same question. How do we deploy AI systems that we can fully trust? And the answer isn't simply about model accuracy. It's about governance, observability, and auditability. Can you audit every decision your AI system makes? Can you intervene immediately if something unexpected occurs? Can you explain to stakeholders and regulators why your AI made a specific decision? The platforms and organizations that have solved these questions that built trust and transparency into their architecture, those are the ones that are successfully deploying AI at scale. Because the reality is, technology leaders need to answer to boards, regulators, and customers. AI systems need to not just be capable, but trustworthy and accountable. At Box, we built Box AI on intelligent content management foundations meaning permissions, audit capabilities, and security were architectural principles from the start. That's enabled organizations in regulated industries to trust us with their most sensitive information. As we move into 2026, trust won't just be a differentiator, it will be a requirement. Organizations evaluating AI platforms need robust answers to that trust question. 2025 was the year enterprise AI moved from experimentation to shifting to production deployment, from proof of concept to operational reality. Looking forward to 2026, we'll continue breaking down new developments as they emerge. Every significant shift, every architectural innovation, every practical implication for enterprise deployment. So like and subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know in the comments the five shifts that resonated most with your experience with AI this year. I'm Mina Ganesh. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you in 2026.